What's going on everyone? I'm Chase and welcome back to another review. Now the movie I want to take a look at right now is the 2021 version of Dune. Uh, this is another Warner Brothers simultaneous release in theaters and on HBO Max. So let's break this down. Before I even wanted to watch this, as soon as I heard it was going to be directed by Denny Villeneuve, I was all 100% on board. I didn't even really care what the movie was about. Um, yeah, I've been a huge fan of this guy's career. Uh, ever since I saw Prisoners back in 2013 in a crowded theater, uh, or was it 2012? Uh, either way, I saw it in a crowded theater. People went nuts for it. Like That was a movie that had so much punch to it, and it really just kind of came out of nowhere. And he, in my eyes, and especially in the film community, he became a household name. Uh, and I, w I was always curious to know what he would do next, and I loved every single thing that he's done uh, up until this point. So I was like, I, I am, I I'm down no matter what. So, uh, and then two, this is based on a, a popular book and that book is a part of a popular series of books, uh, with the same name. And so this is a iconic title being tackled by one of the best directors working today. It's got an all-star cast. It's like, what could go wrong? Right? So if you don't know what Dune is about, uh, it is about the son of a noble family, uh, that is entrusted with the protection of the most valuable asset and the most vital element in the galaxy, which is a spice, um, and it's just on this planet. They go to this planet, they gotta guard it, and of course, there's people that don't like that, and so they, because they want to take over like everything. So good versus evil, protection over um, land, spice. It's greed. It's just, it's just just rich with <laughs> with stuff. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never read the books. I I've actually never seen any other adaptation of this uh, story. Yes, even the David Lynch one, and I'm a huge David Lynch fan. It's literally one of the few I have not never seen from him. Uh, I've never seen any of the miniseries, so I, this is my first experience with this world and these characters and just the the iconic, you know, foundation that this thing has throughout uh, history. This is my first introduction to it. And I remember watching the trailer, and I, I was... I was intrigued for sure, uh, but once again, I have the the trust of the director and the cast, and you know the way it looks. Like I was like, Dude, this has to be good, right? So I watched it, and it's it's okay. And I, I'm kind of in that camp because it, it seems like there's a there's two separate camps online and how people view this film. It's either it's just it's an incomplete story. It's literally just like the uh, first two acts of a story and then it cuts off and like it doesn't have any time to develop anything. It's just all set up. And then you have the other camp of like, this is one of the ma most amazing things I've ever seen. It's a great theatrical experience. Like it, all my senses were blown away <laughs> from the, the audio, um, you know, like sound design and like just the visual component and just everything about it and being enthralled and uh, being transported to that world. Like those are the two camps that it seems like this... <laughs> this movie is in, I am in the camp of this feels incomplete and it feels um, like it doesn't have time to develop anything for a part one. Um, now, at the time of this recording, yesterday they announced part two is coming. And let me just put this out there. I am looking forward to part two. I w if they want to make a whole series on this because there are multiple books, go for it. I want to see more. I love this type of stuff. Just for me personally, uh, for a part one, it doesn't really feel satisfying and it doesn't really do anything for me. And it just does feel like a large amount of setup to an exciting third act that we don't even get. So, but there are great things about it. And I don't hate this movie by any means, uh, but I can see why people uh, would love it. And I'm glad that this movie is, is doing well and it's getting a lot of chatter online because Denny Villeneuve deserves it. He really does. Like he, he should have gotten this much praise when he did films like Enemy. Have you guys ever seen that? Great little movie. Okay, so let's start with the good because there's a lot of great things that are injected into the craft of this film that make it stand out. And I understand why people are really adoring this film. Denny Villeneuve is a fantastic world builder. He's a fantastic um, atmospheric director. He understands the genre. And when he is instructed to do one particular genre... He utilizes it to its fullest potential. If you watch stuff like Prisoners, for instance, 
the pacing of that film, the power of the performances, the uh, the mystery that looms throughout the entire thing. It's a fantastic thriller. When you watch Arrival, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's a it's a little a little slower. It allows you to seep into this environment of the unknown and you know have these you know scientists trying to figure out the language of these aliens and it really plays into the science fiction um uh element and the the mystery of it it's just it, like i said it takes it takes its time it's it's different and you know uh stuff like blade runner it's, it's just really great world building to really transport you into the future of where these characters are are at and it's just absolutely gorgeous and he does the same thing here dune feels like it's otherworldly it feels uh fantastical at moments the construction of the the lands and the buildings and the production design the the costume design everything about it it, you feel like you're there you feel like you are a part of this world and you feel like you're timothy chalamet because you have no idea what's going on but he is being injected into this situation so we're we're right there beside him trying to figure out what's going on and of course like when it flips to like the uh to stellan skarsgård stellan skarsgård's world um because he is the the villain of this this film it's haunting it's it's nightmarish and that really plays to who that person is and so it's once again it's just fantastic world building and it really sets up for this this type of story that i can see go on for several parts and so i'm excited to see it for sure um the other thing that denis really understands is sound design and really playing with your auditory senses and making it making you feel that extra experience on a whole different level because it yes the visuals are nice they're beautiful this cinematography is out of this world pun intended and the landscaping of the desert and just the the beautiful kind of openness of the sand and you know just these planets like everything about it is gorgeous right but he, he also knows how to play with um, your auditory senses as well and make it really feel from the, the jets taking off or the sandworms going through the sand or when people are fighting and you can feel the the brutality of the, the hits on each other. Like all that, it just makes the experience uh, a whole lot better than just being a visual um, you know feast. You want to have that extra element. So he understands that as well. It's a... Uh, it's a film that plays both visually and um, auditory that just will blow you out of the water when you're watching this. You're like, wow, this is this is a fantastic film just on those two levels. And Denny understands that. Um, getting the performances out of these actors was a, ta- a task because this is a very, very crowded film. But I think for what, you know, for, for the amount of people that he had, everyone, I think, delivers you know, pretty good performances. Um, and I think a couple of my favorites were like Jason Momoa and Rebecca Ferguson. And, um, you know, some of the kind of secondary characters actually surprised me more than Timothy Chalamet. He's great in the movie, but um, I was actually surprised more about uh, the supporting cast. So I think balancing all of that, plus the getting the performances out of the actors, I think Denny Villeneuve does a fantastic job. My problem is where lies is, is the script and you know this really feeling like a second act movie like a, a first act second act and it's done and it just cuts off so it doesn't feel complete when you're doing parts like this you want to have each part feel like a complete movie from beginning to end this does not have that none of the ideas are explored enough in this film a lot of it just scratches the surface um when it gets when it gets going towards the end of the film, some of the ideas that are brought up, I'm like, oh wow, this is interesting. Uh, like there's there's a part where you know Timothy Chalamet is wondering why people are, are fighting in his name, and you know this kind of dives into more of like a, a religious you know theme and everything. And I hear from the books that is a big part of it. I think once again, I haven't read the books. I'm just kind of hearing it from other people that have read the books. But like that that part that stuff is interesting. But it's like, it's like one part, and then they're like, well, we hope you see part two because it will explain it a lot more. It's just like, okay. Um, and so I, I felt like they were undercutting a lot of the themes 
quite a bit and, and it felt like nothing was really explored or touched upon enough to actually care because another thing about this thing is it feels cold it feels distant i never felt like i was fully inside of the headspace of these characters or like their emotions or like their their um motivations or anything it just felt like this is a a, a pretty shot of where we're at cool they're at this planet cool they gotta guard this spice then we have a bunch of more shots of the desert to kind of pad it out then we kind of maybe move on to something else but like it, it's just kind of an extension of that scene it just it never really feels like it, it advances far enough it just feels like this is a great first act film and it dives into the second act and it kind of just cuts off um so i never really felt like i got to really know these characters and they never really felt like um um they were just like fleshed out to a point where like they can stand on their own for this movie in particular so i, I was kind of disappointed in that regard i i was wondering why it kind of felt so distant and so cold and um i think that's why it just it it just feels incomplete for sure and now if they want to release part one and part two as a a connective movie i might think about this differently but for right now that's kind of where i'm at it this mainly falls more on the scripting and just the the overall execution of this story and how they decided to cut it up. I think that's where I'm finding the disconnect. But there's a lot of great things about this for sure. Um, and I'm excited to see part two. I'm excited to see the ideas explored. I'm excited to see this third act battle that's going to take place from all these visions that Paul is having. You know, Timothy Chalamet's character. So, um, and, and, and that's the thing, like, uh, the the visions of part two that he sees in his head, oh, I'm excited for. Like, once again, just because I feel kind of neutral on this one, like, I'm, I'm excited to see where, where this goes, because I've never read the book, and this is all, this is all new to me, so, but I, I love just everything kind of, like, developed in the world, it just never really did anything beyond that. Um, Performance-wise, like I said, I think everyone does a pretty good job, um, and I I think Timothy Chalamet is good in the lead role, but I love every everyone else in the secondary role. I love the the kindness and I love the brotherly love that he has with Jason Momoa's character. I love the motherly bond that he has with Rebecca Ferguson, and she really kind of takes charge in her scenes. Like I just I, I love that Oscar Isaac is is a powerful figure in this, and he really uh, conveys that, especially with that awesome beard that he has. Um, Josh Brolin's not in it that much. Um, but you know, he, he's fine, uh, for, uh, his, his amount of screen time. Zendaya is in there for like two seconds. So I don't know why she's in the promotional stuff. Um, but she'll be, she'll be more in part two for sure. Javier Bardem, uh, Stellan Skarsgård is absolutely frightening. I love that performance. Uh, probably, uh, another reason why I'm, I wouldn't, um, grade this movie any lower. Um, I, I loved his performance. I love the makeup on him. It just, he really felt like this disgusting evil presence and you're like i just want this guy to die um but yeah uh yeah and then uh, everyone else that i forgot to mention all great because that's a part of the world building that's a part of the the um the scope of the film you want this to feel like this epic adventure that's happening on multiple planets and having all these um big stars in it definitely helps uh the score I uh, just want to add one last thing. The score is fantastic. Hans Zimmer is one of the best of all time. I I adore that man. You know, I I think I was first introduced to him. Oh God, what was the first movie? Oh, I I have I have no clue. <laughs> I can't think of it. But every time when he pops up um, with a score, you're like, all right, how is he going to outdo himself? This score is on a whole nother level. And if he doesn't win, uh, or at least get nominated for the Oscar at this point, I will be very, very upset. But the score is once again absolutely fantastic. And all this to wrap up and say, I saw this on HBO Max. I did not go to the theater for it, so I stayed home to watch it. Will it would it have been better as a theatrical experience? Maybe. But I saw it at home and I uh I have a big enough TV and a sound system to where I felt like it was fine to do that and review it that way. Um and I, I enjoyed myself. And I, you know, for the second one, I'm glad that they're going to do away with the, the streaming and the theater option. And they're going to say, this is theaters only. So you better go to a theater to see part two. And guess what? I will be one of those people 
to go see it. So there you go. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of Dune. I'm actually really curious on this one to what people think about it because I know that there's going to be people that feverishly love this movie and then there's going to be people that just um, think it's okay and I don't I haven't met anyone that like absolutely hates it yet but please let me know down below like tell me that I'm wrong tell me that this works as a part one I want to know everyone's uh, perspectives and I really appreciate you guys um, giving me feedback and comments uh, down below and you know I, I like reading them all so I may not get to them or reply to them but I appreciate reading them so let me know down below what you thought of dune 2021 i cannot wait to see where this goes make it into multiple movies make it into multiple series let denny vell new uh, helm this universe i trust that man with anything so uh that will do it for this review i'm chase lee and tune in next time for whatever i review next i will see you guys later